John, good evening. Good evening, Scott. It's it's a new year. It's 2023, I know. Uh, which I can't believe we've actually made it here, I'll be honest with you. Matt. I know. I've got the spaceship parked outside. Uh, <laughs> it's ready to go. 2023 in the future. And, uh, and, and as we're talking about, you know, future, uh, tonight's topic, I think, is very yeah. apropos. We're talking about what movies best predicted the future. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of science fiction, right? So any science fiction dorks out there, we welcome you home. This yeah. is your episode tonight. Uh, so we want to hear from you, obviously. But John and I are going to go through some of the big themes here yeah. of what they got right. Like, what what, did, what were they thinking way back when? And how, how did they nail it? Mm. Uh, John, some of the big ones that you and I talked about as we were doing research was just this idea about... Um, like privacy mm. and yeah. uh movies like 1984 which is obviously based on the book yeah. uh which was a landmark book about big brother uh mm -hmm. and shows like the truman show which i i still say is one of the most underrated movies of all time <laughs> but that was a, in this in this idea of, of privacy uh with jim carrey for example yeah uh, who plays truman um, everything around him is this scripted, uh, not only just reality show, but he's being controlled uh, and everything is being watched. And I could I can tell you that somehow someone's listening to this podcast uh, beyond our listeners. Yeah, it, it is crazy. Scott. You're <laughs> right. I mean, like you think about how many times have you said something and then all of a sudden on your iPhone, like an ad pops up for what you're just talking <laughs> about, right? Like creepy things like that that happen that you're like, wait, I was just talking about that. How the, uh, yeah. you know, what's going on? I, I, You're right. I mean, Truman Show, I think was, to me was, I think too, was, I think it was a bit of an underrated film. It, it was a yeah. really good movie. And um, I think it, it, it kind of brought reality TV to the next level. And you're right, privacy about Big Brother, 1984, obviously big brother you could people could probably say that there's a lot of that going on today and you know the way that the country is run and things that happen with technology right the, the kinds of yeah. snooping that go on even things that we don't even know about google god knows google knows my entire life yeah. and has my dna all over it everything, everything. um uh, it's true you know it, it, it it's, it's the way we are we're living today right uh, yeah i think it's it's if you think about uh 1984 especially when yeah. that was written yeah uh, how spot on uh mm -hmm. this story is with this idea of you know it's a essentially a big screen tv and it just you, you can't even say anything uh because everything is monitored it's almost like i won't get too political here but a lot of it's like this almost cancel culture where if you yeah. say something and somehow that and then you're designated to hard labor like in the movie <laughs> um, but that was one theme that yeah. I, I think ironically with all the freedoms that everyone touts and all the technology, a lot of people feel constrained or a prisoner, uh, to this technology, which sure. I think a lot of people today think, Hey, it's great that, uh, these ads are targeted, but it's a bit creepy. Like, yeah. I, I don't want you to get that close to me. <laughs> yeah, it can get a little bit. I mean, I think you talk, you go into like artificial intelligence and even yeah. like the deeper part of artificial, they have these new things now called machine learning and deep learning, which are go to another level of artificial intelligence where, the, where the, they train themselves. It gets really, yeah. it gets really well, freaky. Um, yeah. But yeah, the, these movies in, in a lot of ways, uh, you know, we're kind of futurist in, in looking at what, we, what what might happen. And we've got a, it was interesting to kind of do some research and figure out, I mean, mm -hmm. there's some really funny ones, but then there's some ones like, wow, that is eerily creepy. That yeah. that's kind of what's happening in a lot of society today in the United <laughs> States, right? Yeah. It's well, one that funny. I thought was one category, you know, we talked about mm. um, privacy, but another one is dating and relationships. Uh, yeah. And I thought the movie, Logan's Run from 1975, which it, it, for anyone who hasn't seen it, you got to see this one. It's, it is awesome. It, you'll start. I, I tell you, even the dress, even oh, his like outfit is like oh, it's, it's going to be great. Gucci in ten years. Like it, the, it's it, it's kind of like a stylish version of Star Trek a little yeah. bit. Like oh, they kind of took Star Trek, right? But yeah, it, it is definitely like Louis Vuitton, YSL. 
sell in like 2030 for sure. Yeah. It's and so this part of the movie, uh, and here's a spoiler alert, but uh the prota- the protagonist goes to his apartment, right? His bachelor pad, and it's evening time, and he just picks up a remote and there's kind of like almost like this glass uh chamber and appears like a woman and it's like a menu it's like literally swiping he's like eh, not sure if i want that and then there's a man right if you want to go like <laughs> either way and so it's just this like swiping it's, tinder. it's like a, it's like a live it's, version of it's tinder live tinder man it's they knew live it. tinder you just it swipe and just you know swipe. depends on what you're up for you know it, it's, it's very true it, it is yeah it is it's amazing isn't it mm-hmm. it's like a, a, a th- and you think that someday that will probably be like that the will, that's gonna 11th happen. level of tinder be like you just kind of put yourself in this chamber yeah. and you know yeah. you just you're just like it's like away. instead of like this idea you need a phone and you go it's like no there's a person there no i don't Creepy. like Whoop, who's another one creepy yeah. and and i can yeah. already imagine the venture capitalists who saw that movie are just yeah. like okay man and probably it. with that too probably some safety issues you know, that might come into play there. A few, you know, well, safety issues. But um, but yeah, creepy how that became like this live version of Tinder and Logan's run. Uh, really interesting. Well, it's all, you know, you, you get this sense in books, uh, even a book like Brave New World, where relationships are not based on love or this traditional mm. structure, the marriage, kind of the, 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 the family unit. It's very transactional. And I think right. today's, I think most people would agree that you're on Tinder, you're on one of these dating apps, and it's very transactional. Nope, I just swipe. Nope, go. But it's uh, it's not that old yeah. school courting or even picking up at a bar. So like back in I, my day, when yeah. I met my wife, old school, like the answering old machine. School. You yeah. have to meet on yeah. a date, in person. Blind, blind date, right? And that's this and that. I don't, I don't think that it happens anymore. I don't think it does. Um, I mean, you're out there. I, I have yeah. no idea. But I, I, I think that those days of you know the old school dating, yeah, are gone. Now yeah. it's all technology based. Now another aspect uh, that I think is very fascinating, which is very, very prominent in most of mm. these science fiction movies that talk about the future, is transportation, sure. right? On uh, once you're, we, we you have it here, John, an honorable mention. We got to call it out. The Jetsons. Oh, right? the not Jetsons, technically yeah. a movie, but uh, right, whatever. right. Yeah, I mean, the Jetsons had you know the moving flying walkways, cars. right? <laughs> they had they had yeah. flying cars. All the cars flew. They had moving walkways. Uh, they had those those had those tubes. They would suck you down in yeah. and shoot you somewhere. Um, yeah, I mean, the Jetsons had you know FaceTime before FaceTime was a thing. You know, yeah. they were communicating that way. But yeah, Jetsons definitely had um had that version of, of travel that was uh maybe we'll see at that level someday in the yeah. Jetsons. Oh, world. I am sure. And some yeah. of the other ones, I even if you uh look at technically not a movie. Well, actually, no, Star Trek was a movie. But this yeah. idea of you can deconstruct your molecules, right? You, yeah, like, like the concept of a car is gonna seem so archaic. That you need yeah. an actual machine that requires gas or oil, all this crap, right. and it has wheels and it's really heavy to make. Where you can just literally get in this tube, you know, deconstruct your molecules and then reconstruct them in another location. Like, well, yeah. why wouldn't you do that? Like a transporter, right? I mean, there's so many <laughs> movies. I mean, the, the old movie The Fly, for example, that you know yeah. has a couple different versions of it. They oh, were yeah. transporting from one place to another. Star Trek did it at a huge level. So you're right, transportation. Um, can it, it, you know, we saw it in all those kinds in Star Trek is a great example where, yeah, cars are going to kind of be, you know, a thing in the future, but there are, you know, some movies and one, one movie that I called out that goes like way back in the day, you know, was Metropolis from 1927, yeah. which was a silent film. If anybody hasn't seen this movie, oh, yeah. even if you don't like silent films, this movie is insanely good. Uh, Scott, have you seen Metropolis? Oh yeah. We had to watch that it, in our English literature it's, class it, it's it's it, it, it's amazing because back then they were they were showing highways they were showing skyscrapers like these modern modern cities um they were showing drones back then mm-hmm. and all of these things have kind of come to life in today's society and that was over you know 100 years ago and these they were they were really bringing these things to life um it's amazing to see that way back in the silent yeah, film era way back. and that film is so incredibly well done stylistically creatively is a beautiful movie um if you haven't seen our viewers seen a silent film called metropolis 
Christmas from 27. Definitely make sure you see it. It's a yeah. great, great film and kind of creepy because it does, uh, you know, predict a lot of what's happening in the future. Oh yeah. No question. I mean, it is, it is uncanny how close it is. Yeah. Uh, and I still say 1984 is like that. That's a spot on. Yeah. It, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Another part, another aspect is the idea of, of robots. Right. And so yeah. this is where there's so many movies, these dystopian societies where the robots take over, such as an iRobot. Um, and uh, but I think this, this reminds me of a story. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard about this. And it, But back in the early days of Facebook, maybe you know, 10 or 15 years ago, they uh, were playing with two computers uh, and they wanted to see if these two computers could talk to each other mm. and they had this experiment and they started to talk to each other and they started to create a, their own language that yeah. humans couldn't understand and they started to do you know some crazy stuff and they had to literally unplug <laughs> these machines <laughs> and that was like very frightening and it reminded me of the, the movie uh stanley kubrick's 2001 with this computer yeah. system called how yeah. uh yeah. where it kind of takes over these these famous scenes uh yeah. where the robot usurps the human yeah. And when you talk to a lot of people today and they say, what's the biggest threat to humanity? They don't really say climate change or they won't say even war. They're going to say AI. Like, yeah, machines, machines. machines. Will, the machine, you know, the rise of the machine. Right. Um, I mean, we, we we just had CES here in Las Vegas and they were, yeah. uh, I was watching some of the video blogs from it. And, you know, these pets now, they have these animatronic yeah. pets that have like feelings and that, yeah. you know, it, the, the the level of AI and, and the robotics is happening. You know, I think it's still a little bit on the creepy side. I didn't say anything <laughs> that really was like, oh my God, looks just like Scott. Uh, yeah. But, but they are having this technology where they're doing some really, some really sketchy shit and it, it's yeah. getting really it, it's amazing but you're right I, th I think that is if you think about it like just you know robots taking over it sounds like something dwight schrute would say from the office but it's true uh i guess oh, that is. would be a fear and you watch some of these movies i robot uh the movie ai and these these yeah. robots that seemingly come to life There's and have so their many. own their own feelings and their own you know, they, 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 and you know, I, I kind of put in the uh, honorable mentions because there's so many things. There's a Twilight yeah. Zone. The Twilight Zone had a great episode. Um, I forget the name of the title of the of the episode, but they basically had an episode where this father of two, the wife dives and dies, and he goes to a store with mm -hmm. the kids, and they build a he they build like a wife for him. Yeah, and they order it, and like a week later. She rings the doorbell and there she is. And it's a yeah. looks like a human, but it's a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, I'm telling you, it's in, in movies such as in Blade Runner or even Alien, yeah. where yeah. you know there's cyborgs. And yeah, you, you have and I thought it was funny. I was talking to my my folks the other day and, and we were talking about this subject, and I was prep, prepping for it. And they said one of their friends uh was asked to leave the medical practice mm -hmm. because he couldn't figure out how to work with the a robot uh, sur uh surgeon right the things yeah. now it's like you don't yeah. use a hand because it's so right use these, these, a human these hand. kind of right yeah. Yeah, these robot almost like robotic, robotic tools right yeah they're robotic tools and you have to know how to work them and that's the way things are and you'll see this in movies even in star wars where they're being yeah. operated on by robots and you're like well, yeah. why would you use a yeah. human brain uh, yeah it's tired luke got, a, luke got his new hand after his yeah. you know darth Vader chopped it off it's yeah. like a bionic yeah. a bionic that's hand, right right that's right yeah. and how many people mick jagger now uh rod stewart's got a new hip i think mick jagger got a, a uh, new dude. like knees he got new knees well i mean nowadays hit you know hip replacements like an out of outpatient surgery now you yeah, go yeah. in you they do that click, on the click, weekend click and, in the end, off you go, man. You're ready to go. Get but a couple new it, hips. And that's new it. Knees. So technically, uh, Mick Jagger is a cyborg, man. Uh, he probably is, among, amongst other things. Uh, uh, him and, and Keith Richards. Now, another aspect uh, that I thought was interesting um, was climate. Mm -hmm. And I look at the movie like Soylent Green, right? Back oh, in the man. 70s. Charlton That's Heston. Awesome. But it Another starts off movie. that everyone's sweating. It's like very yeah. hot. And they're looking for meat, right? Like having a piece of yeah. meat is this rarity. Yeah. And uh, and even like in Blade Runner, the opening scene, it's like this hot rain. It's in LA, but everyone's speaking Chinese. So, you know, you can definitely see the director or, or the author uh, envisioning this future where somehow yeah. the climate is is much different and usually not in a good way. 
Um, and I just thought that was really, really interesting. Yeah, there's there's actually a Twilight Zone again that very similar is a Twilight Zone where uh, it sh- it opens up with the scene in New York City and yeah. these two women in an apartment and they're just like sweating and dripping. And what's happening is you find out the sun is getting closer and closer and closer to yeah. the earth. And pretty soon it's going to be so close that everyone's just going to die. Yeah. And then she wait and then she wakes up and she realizes it was a dream and she has a fever, but instead she's in New York and the sun is moving further and further and further away and everything's freezing yeah. in the planet. So yeah, I mean, climate um, has always been something that you, you see in sci-fi and people predict what might happen to the extreme yep. to yep. earth and how it might affect humanity. Another aspect that I thought wasn't as obvious and it wasn't in most of the movies that you and I had, had listed here, but one that you could extrapolate based on this idea that medicine is getting better and people just factually are Mm. living longer um and so there's this movie zardoz again a must see let me just say this sean connery 1974 wearing a red nappy which is is... english english british word for a diaper it's it's, that's all we gotta say that it it, we'll post it but we'll post it we we need to post post something because it is it's, it's something to see. I mean, there's a lot of hair. Let's just put it yeah. down. There's a lot of hair, but it's <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it's something to see. But there's the, some of the characters in this movie yeah. live till they're like 400 or 500 yeah. years old. And they're insanely bored because they have yeah. everything. They're not in want of anything. It's almost this paradise. Right. And they're just really, really just bored looking people. And this yeah. is something that if you even go back to... Uh, kind of these ancient fairy tales stuff that you would see in like old England or old Europe. Mm. Uh, They'll have these characters like pygmies or almost like this. um, What was there? Star twinkle, the, the Peter Pan, that, that, um, yeah, not him. I forgot the little flying. Oh, 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 the little fairy. Um, Yeah. The little fairy, right. The fairies. So, and these fairies, this is way back, way, way back, right. Almost like right after the middle ages, they would meet these fairies and they were been living forever. And there's yeah. they're usually very morose. They're, they're usually very melancholy. There's like a sadness behind this eternity. And you saw that again with, with Zardoz with some of these characters. And it's just something I thought like, as people start to live longer and longer, is that going to be something where it's like, yeah, man, uh, yeah, we live like we're 400 years old or we're 300 years old and we don't need anything now. We've solved food problem. We've solved poverty. Huh. We've solved uh, entertainment. Now we don't need to work. Like what's the purpose? Uh, yeah, and I that, thought that, that was I, something that <laughs> maybe that's a I, little I, too far away. I, well, I think that's when the movie, the purge comes in yeah. and they just start, <laughs> so, but you know what though? Also um, I, I just think about, and to a maybe a lesser extent, cocoon, right? The movie Cocoon, yeah. oh, where yeah, the aliens yeah. landed in the pool and all the old people jumped in the pool, and all of a sudden they had all this energy. Yeah. And they like they were all of a sudden they had the uh the vitality of like a, a 14 year old. Yeah. And they were all over the place because of this pool that had these alien pods that made them, you know, yeah. uh kind of That's gave right. them a second a second life. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, can you imagine what you could sell that for? All the, I mean, all the hedge fund guys that would go after oh, that. Dude, yeah. I mean, oh I got my a gosh. pool with these aliens in it. Yeah, and you get a charge. Totally change you. you. You get those crypto yeah. dudes like hedging it. Well, and, and, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I, I thought that was, uh, you know, yeah. really interesting. Another one that uh, was from the early '70s, based on I think Michael Crichton's. I think it was one of his first books. Uh, is the Andromeda Strain, which is all about a virus. Right. This is the way it, it just it's so crazy when you watch this movie. And there and subsequently yeah. there's been many movies about plagues and contagious uh diseases and whatnot. And it's still kind of in the you know, in everyone's mind, so to speak. Uh, but I thought that was interesting um way back in the 70s that they said, Hey, this is one way humanity can go. And um, but I think you know, as as disease and uh, as well, I'm sorry, as science gets even stronger and stronger and you're getting, you know, fake lungs, fake arms. I think it's going to be more that people are going to be living a long time um, yeah. where you start to see like in uh, a little bit like in Brave New World, uh, they take a drug called Soma 
which yeah. just basically it's like just a, it's like an ecstasy pill. It's like it keeps you happy because you have nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with you, but you're just bored. So right. you can see that today. You can see that with dopamine hits on TikTok and um, people are trying to live like a pain free life. Uh, yeah. So I thought that just some of those movies uh, and books uh, or based on books did that. Um, yeah. John, what else? What are, you know, so some of the I other ones. I, are... Yeah, I've got I've got a few. I mean, obviously, um, you know, one of my favorite films. Well, I wouldn't say film, but a film that I, I love a specific part of it was mm-hmm. Back to the Future 2. Because they predicted the Cubs would win the World Series, yeah. which no one ever thought would happen. Yeah. They predicted the Cubs would win the World Series. They didn't yeah. predict it; they would win it in 2016, but they did predict it. Um, yeah. You know that that movie also brought out the hoverboard. Oh yeah, uh, Nike, Nike had a self tying shoe that became a reality. Yeah. Um, it, you know they they put out a limited edition run. They were like they went for like thirty thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. Um, but Back to the Future had some fun kind of cool futuristic look at some of the things that you know that were happening um that have kind of come to a certain degree um i always like that one i i love like you i kind of like some sci-fi films that go back to like the planet of the apes is one of my favorite sci-fi films it talks about yeah obviously if you haven't seen i'm going to ruin it for you anyways that these guys land on a planet they go they go they go in the future and they land in a planet full of apes that now run the world and they realize that the world they're in isn't another planet it's the u.s and yeah. so that movie rod serling who wrote twilight zone helped write that 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 script that that um uh that script for that movie it's yeah fucking, it's mind-boggling good yeah and then i i love the mad max movies you know mad yeah. max and road warrior i mean with gasoline being fuel being so critical you yeah. know, there are those fun movies where you kind of look at those um, and they're a little bit far fetched, but there's some interesting yeah. things in all of them you can kind of bring back well, to the, today. Yeah, that best predictor that really, really were spot yeah. on. I think another movie that is widely beloved by anyone in sci fi is Blade Runner. And oh, I yeah. thought an aspect that yeah. was interesting here was the rise of the corporation, right? The Tyrell Corporation. Yeah, was a Tyrell Corporation. Yeah, like Tyrell that corporation. Is, and, and I think as you see today, uh, especially in America, these corporations control a lot uh, of your life. Think scary. about Google. Think about what Facebook was doing. Meta. Think about, right. uh, yeah. Like if you took oh, down so five many. companies, you couldn't Twitter. get around. Yeah. You, you couldn't assert, you couldn't, you know, basically have any information, Google. Uh, and so I think that part, you know, when they did that movie back in the, in the early 80s, uh, they really kind of said, hey, the, the uh, real powers with these yeah. tech, kind of tech innovation companies. Uh, and it's, and, I mean, hey, that they're running the show today, whether whether we like it or not. No, um, 100%. But John, question for you now. So some fun yeah. stuff here. Yeah. If you had to live in any one of these movies, uh, which Ooh. one would you do? Well, Zardoz number one because I just want to wear the outfit, yeah, right? Yeah, the uh, red nappy. I, I I don't think that's a good thing. So I I have to cross Zardoz off the list because I just could not wear that yeah. th- that outfit. That would not be good for. That would be good for anybody. Um, if I had to go back and look at some of these movies and where I might want to live, um, you know, it's a good question. There, you know, Logan's run for the fashion, yeah, without a doubt, <laughs> as a fashion thing, without a doubt. But I don't. I, but when I turn thirty, I don't want to have yeah, to kill myself. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's a bit of a rub there, right? Um, I don't know. It's a really good question. I, I think there are pieces of some of these films yeah. that uh, are are interesting. The Blade Runner was such a cool stylistic yeah. movie, right? Um, it was so cool. Uh, the way it looked, I mean, Harrison Ford was super cool back then too. Uh, was such a cool movie. Um, I don't really know if there's one that I would say, yeah, I want to go live in that utopian environment. That would be, uh, I mean, pardon me, like, li- like live like road warrior in like, like a wicked muscle car yeah. dressed in complete <laughs> leather and be chased by a guy with a goalie mask and a whip. Yeah. I would be kind of freaked out. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I probably mm-hmm. would go with the Jetsons. 
I would probably go with the Jetsons because Jetsons had everything. You push yeah. a button, your meal came out, yeah. you flew. I think George worked a four hour day, uh, yeah. which was amazing. Yeah. So I would have to go. I have to really put my stake in the ground and say I would go live with the Jetsons. How about you? Anything? Any, any I, you know, to, to you tell you. Okay, I'll, I'll say this in two parts. The one I would not want to be on is definitely Soylent Green. <laughs> Okay, no, just right no. off the bat, anyone who's seen that, the it's people. great. <laughs> yeah, it's the people just want yeah. soil and green. Would not want to be sweating next to Charlton Heston. Um, no. uh, all those dystopian ones just look like the, the worst place to be. The Jetsons yep. is the coolest place to be. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's like you're flying around. Uh, yeah. You got a, you got your uh, your modern day Alexi Alexa, who is the maid. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, they, they, <laughs> and everything's that literally uh they had this um one of the first episodes jane i think jane is wife maybe yeah that's jane the, yeah yeah jane jane was a wife she has exercise class and all she does yes. is pushing buttons she just yes. has to push buttons yes yeah and, she would, like, wa- and, and she would she would watch the exercising and yeah. then what she would do is in the morning when she woke up and her face was yeah. kind of like you know yeah. un- unmade and kind of she had a, a like a fake face she would put on to make yeah. a phone call with her friend. I yeah. mean, just brilliant stuff. I mean, it was oh. like a utopian life. They all just kind of like they had they had they had rock music. Yeah. Uh yeah, they had they had Rosie the Maid. Uh they flew around. I mean, it was yeah, that 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 part, I mean, you know, obviously, obviously everyone wants a hoverboard too. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, like, who, who doesn't who want, want it? Who wouldn't yeah. want that? Uh, but definitely I and I gotta be honest with you, Logan's run before 30 would be kind of cool. If you're in your twenties, uh, right? If you're in your twenties, you're a single place person. I mean, you could just it, live a utopian life with like this, you know, uh, just carefree, non consequential sex with just random people yeah, uh, random. through a you know machine. Yeah, I guess you know uh, that that would have been a perk back in the early days, I suppose. Yeah, I think you know. To me, uh, it's scary though when you think about how. If they predicted things that are happening now, the movies you see now, oh, you're yeah. like, shit, man. Like, I, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm almost 50 because, like, yeah. I don't want to be here when we're like in Waterworld or oh, just, Waterworld. There's you know, another one. Like, it's like Escape Water, from New York. Waterworld. Like, oh, am I going to call myself Snake? And uh, another you know, am I movie I to join a gang. I would never want to live in the Waterworld yeah. world ever. No, no. Never. Just, the movie was bad enough. <laughs> And then to live in that world. And to live in it, right? Oh, oh man. No. Well, Hard pass on Waterworld. Everyone will listen. Hey, thanks so much for joining us on our little uh, journey to the future. Uh, yep. And I got to be honest with you, I'm so happy to be in today's world, no matter yeah. what they say. I'm good. I'm yeah. good right here. Although I got to tell you, the hoverboard, if someone can out there, yeah. right? Nike or whoever, you know, why it's, can't you guys develop that? You know, you can. I, I'm sure there's one out there somewhere. I'm sure that Google has one somewhere in like some hidden place oh or Elon Musk probably has one yeah. hidden oh, somewhere yeah. and they're going to unleash it. And then it'll just be, can you imagine yeah. Manhattan on, on oh, yeah. in, like downtown Chicago and so hipster, so hipster. No, no. Yeah. They, 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 they would all be riding the bicycle still. That would be hipster. <laughs> oh, yeah. for well, sure. everyone listen, Hey, have a great weekend. Uh, thanks yep. so much. Again, feel free. We want to hear your favorite kind of, future please movies or retro future whatever you want to call it and any examples you have that where this movie best predicted the future definitely reach out to us and uh we'll see you guys next week thanks see you later see ya